What's up guys, this is Miasin, so we just got a bunch of new cards announced. Uh, the first one is a shark card, and then we also have a bunch of new white forest cards. And the white forest cards, I have absolutely no idea what they do, but the shark card, I did read it before this video, so my bad. This one's not gonna be a live reaction, but the white forest will be. But yeah, anyways, before we go any further, y'all need to know the drill, smash the like and the subscribe button. Anyways, the first card is Jet Shark, level 4 Water Fish. You can only use one of the second and third effect of this card's name per turn, and only once that turn. If a water exceeds monsters on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand, and if summoned this way, you can not special summon this card for the, uh, for the rest of the turn. Alright, cool, so that's an extender. I will kind of take it, even though the shark deck, I think, has billions of extenders. And this does play into Perolia. Uh, but the deck, I think, is solid into 4 rows, because if they 4 rows early, then you just make Stealth Crag and pass. Anyways, during your main phase, you can send one fish, shark, monster, or one exceed spell or trap from your deck to the grave. You can send the Crystal Shark. I think the Crystal Shark is the one that does something in the grave. I gotta double check on that. Hold on a second. There we go. Yeah, okay, so this is a one-card Stealth Kraken, which is actually kind of solid. I don't know how good Foolishing the Exceed Spells and Traps even is, because you're not really trying to play a bunch of them, but it sends any of them, so maybe there might be one that actually has a good graveyard effect. If there is, let me know in the comment section. Anyways, you can banish this card from your grave, add one Aqua Jet card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Oh, even recurs back from the graveyard. Okay, hold on a second. The Aqua Jet cards, there is only two at the current moment. Aqua Jet is actually garbage, but Surface Aqua Jet is a monster reborn. So the fact that you can get this effect, which searches a monster reborn, means that this card is a triple extender. Remarkable. There is nothing negative to say about this card. Other than the fact that you can only use the second or the third effect per turn only once that turn. So it doesn't triple extend uh, immediately right away, but it will it will give you a follow-up uh, in the grind game, which I think you can always benefit off of that. So a huge fan of this card. Anyways, the big of the video. Alright, so the new Sinful Spoils, White Forest as Amina and the- Holy crap, okay, wow. This has the potential to break the game because at the current moment, pretty much all these cards are already really good. So imagine if they become even better. I swear, the lore never ends. Anyways, uh, the first card is Azamina LZ of the White Forest. Can you search any Azamina card with your cards? Deception searches any Azamina card. Okay! It's just that there were no main deck Azamina monsters, but this changes everything. So its name reminds me a lot of Mech Knight Orcus Girsu, how it belongs to two archetypes, so it's really easy to get your hands on it. Being an Azamina and a White Forest monster, that's kind of cool. And also it has 0-0, so it is searchable off of Piri Race Map. And it is an illusion monster, I don't know how relevant that is. Uh, anyways, the first, second, and third effect once per turn. Gotta love to see a card that has three effects. Anyways, you can reveal this card in your hand, special summon one white, white forest or Azamina monster from your hand, including itself. Okay, sure, I will kinda take it, and if you use this and you get Perolia, you only give one draw to your opponent, I believe. So that's relatively cool. During your main phase, you can fusion some. Ah, there you go. Okay, yeah. I was like, you need like the spell cards to fusion summon, but now you can actually summon your your fusion monsters with this effect. You can fusion one fusion uh, as I mean a fusion monster for extra deck using monsters from your hundred field as material. Okay, and if this card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro material, you can add one sinful. You gotta be kidding me. This card is completely cracked. Holy shit! You can make the Omni Negate, and then you can search your deck for a sinful spells card. How do you make the Omni Negate? You need an illusion and a light spellcaster. Konami actually foreshadowed there. It makes so much sense because before I was reading the fusion monsters and I was like, they, they're kind of like the runic monsters. Like, you need two runic monsters to make them. Like, huh? That, that, that's so irrelevant. Like, obviously, they're fusion monsters, but you're never fusion summoning them. You're summoning with the runic spells. And honestly, the Azamina fusions were kind of just like that. But now you're really trying to fusion summon them. Oh, hold on a second. This is when it, it's used as a synchro material. Okay, it's not, obviously, it's, yeah, it's not as good. It, it's not like if this card is sent to the graveyard as a material for anything. But still, this is really good. Man, I will absolutely take it. So nice. So yeah, I think the goal is to search Deception, and then you can make your Omni Negate and stuff like that. Yeah, this definitely gives uh, this deck quite a lot of pushes. Anyways, Sinful Spools of the White Forest. Again, a Sinful Spools and a White Forest card, but not an Azamina card. Imagine if it was like Azamina, Sinful Spools of the White Forest, Jesus. Anyways, quickly spell, first and second effect once per turn. If you can show an, a Fiend, Illusion, or Spellcaster, activate one of these effects. So special summon one Fiend, Illusion, or Spellcaster from your hand. Only from the hand, not from the hand or grave, unfortunately. Or fusion summon one fusion monster from extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material. And uh, the typical white forest effect that we always see on cards. So that's relatively cool. And this is just like Ol of Ophelatis. So yeah, you can summon the Soul Eric Seton, whatever, on your opponent's turn. Which is nice, okay, but you need an illusion, an illusion and a fiend, so that's the interruption. Or you could go into more Arcelago or Rhea Silvara using like a... Like this card, for example, and one of your light spellcasters. 
So that's uh, that's relatively nice, but I don't think this is going to be any more than a one of. But yeah, you can set this with the Abel Star. You can search it with Sylvie. You can search it with Rhea Silvera. That's pretty nice. Anyways, uh, play the Diabel. Wow, okay, so that's neither an Azamina, nor a White Forest, nor a Sinful Spells card. Okay, so you're gonna have to physically hard draw this card, I think. You can only use both effects once per turn. If a spell or trap card is sent to the graveyard to activate a card or effect, so the White Forest cards will trigger that. Uh, or the Runic cards, send one Illusion or Spellcaster from your hand, deck, or extra deck to the grave. So the fact that you can Foolish... Hold, whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Send... Hmm, okay, you can send any Illusion or Spellcaster from... Oh, wait, hold on a second. That, that might actually be kind of decent. I was thinking, like, yeah, you can turn, you can send, like, Grand Gignol. Yeah, there's definitely much better options than that. I'm really trying to think how can you be abuse this card, but... I don't know, sending, like, a White Forest monster doesn't look good. So, I don't know, and obviously you can send, like, your White Forest Synchro, so that now you can revive back your, your monsters, but... Is it even that relevant? I I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, during your main phase, you can banish three spells and traps from your grave, including the Scarda. Special summon one Diabel monster from your hunter grave, so you can revive back Diabel, uh, sorry, Diabel Star, Diabel Z, and Diabel of the White Forest. A lot of Diabels now. Yeah, it would be nice if we get like a, a boss monster Diabel, like a fusion combination of all the Diabels. It might happen one day, actually. But yeah, you can use both effects in the same turn, so that's relatively nice. Okay, sure. Yeah, I mean, oh, okay, so I, I mean, I, I guess I understand. The goal is to foolish maybe Diabel Star or Diabel Z and then revive it back. Yeah, sure, maybe. Maybe that might just be it. Maybe. Anyways, like the Diabel, another Diabel card. Hold on, can you search Diabel cards with your... I don't think Diabel is gonna be like an archetype or a sub-archetype. Sub Anyways, you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If a spell or trap card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, set one spell or trap card from your hand or grave, but it cannot be activated this turn. If you can find a way to foolish like any spell or trap card, Beatrice is banned. Otherwise, holy shit, would this be broken? <laughs> but I guess you have, like, the Diabel Synchro to, like, recycle back something anyways. And it's unfortunate it cannot be activated this turn, but if you get back, like, a Woes, it doesn't really matter too much. Or, like, an Imperm that you already used up, it's uh, not the end of the world. So, usually very good with trap cards. Or even, like, if you get a spell just to, like, discard it or, like, pitch it with your White Forest and then you get it back and then you can use it. Anyways, during your main phase, you can manage three spells or traps from your grave, including the card special summon. Okay, same exact effect. I don't know how these, how good these cards are, but uh, again, like, they, they have to be good. They just have to be good. Anyways, this is the last card, Sinful Spells Awakening. Normal trap, you can only use one of the first and second effect uh, uh, of this card's game turn, only once that turn. If you control a level 5 or higher illusion monster, and your opponent controls three or more monsters, target up to three cards they control, return them to the hand. That is a little too much that your opponent has to control three or more monsters. The activation requirement is a little too easy to play around. Yeah, I don't know. And you gotta control a level five or higher illusion. Like, you gotta control, like, Diabel Z or Diabel. A little mediocre, but whatever. If you control a level five or higher illusion monster and this card is in your grave, you can set this card, but banish him and leaves the field. This is the exact same effect as another uh, Sinful Spools card, I believe. Hold on a second. What is the name of that card? Slumber Morian, I think. Literally the exact same effect. Uh, at least for the, 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 the graveyard effect. It's not that great, just because it's too hard to use. And the effect is nice, but it also bounces back. It would have been nice if it, like, banished, since it's so hard to trigger anyways. So, I don't know. I think this card is a, is a little gimmicky, especially since this is probably, like, a combo deck anyways. You're not trying to play too many trap cards. Yeah, I don't think anybody's really gonna be playing this card, but these cards... If they become searchable, then they come. They could become even better. This one has the potential to be absolutely nasty because you can search any. I mean, you can foolish any illusion or spellcaster. You can send Tao the Great, uh, great Chant or whatever, and then revive back uh, your Diabel or something like that. I have no idea. That's already kind of solid, and then you can revive back another Diabel monster. That's also very cool. And then Sinful Spells of the White Forest. It summons something from the hand again. It would have been just. A little nicer if it could also summon back from the grave, but it's it's kind of fine. And then this effect, whatever. Fusion summoning something, it's also kind of cool. And you can summon Guardian Chimera now, which is relatively interesting. And so that's also nice because it doesn't lock you under like only summoning like your Azamina or whatever, like your White Forest uh, uh, fusion monster. Oh, hold on a second, no, that actually would have made no sense. Yeah, it, it doesn't lock you under only being able to fusion summon your Azamina monsters. There you go. So yeah, you can summon like Guardian Chimera, which is like the number one thing that you're probably going to be trying to do. Uh, so yeah, that's also cool uh, because of the fact that it's so easy to search again. And then this card right here, I think that's like the MVP of the new support because... Man, being able to search any Sinful Spose card from your deck to the hand when it is used as a synchro material, that is kind of nice, not gonna lie. But yeah, definitely a huge fan of these uh, new cards. They're not like super, super broken, but if they were, I think we would we would have been in a world of hurt because 
Yeah, no, no, this, um, th th this deck is already, I mean, it, not necessarily this deck, but, like, these, uh, engines, I guess, these archetypes are already so incredibly powerful. So it it's a kind of obvious that Konami is really trying to push the lore as much as possible because they've done such a good job, you know, White Forest, uh, Sinful Spores, Snake Eye, all the uh, Goblin Biker, I think that's the lore. There might be something else that I'm forgetting about, but... Yeah, it's it's really nice. I'm I'm really enjoying it, and even the shark monster, fantastic. I've got nothing bad to say. But yeah, you guys let me know how you feel about the, all these new cards in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.